So let's talk about the law of diminishing returns. We have three lenses here. So this is a 34-year-old lens from Canon. And uh, this cost me about 300 bucks off of eBay. Shipped it in from Japan. This is a 17-year-old lens. It's basically the newer version of this lens here. And this cost me on eBay approximately 600 bucks, 700 bucks. So uh, pretty good lens. Again, this is just the newer version of this. This has a bit more range, but in terms of the optics, the, the quality of the visuals, pretty much the same. And here is Canon's newest version. Well, this is a step lower than these lenses uh, in terms of uh, some aspects, but this is a brand new version. So this today is about 2,000 bucks. The equivalent to this Including to these, this lens here today, it was $3,000. So I can tell you, having shot video with the 34-year-old lens, the 17-year-old lens, and the brand new lens, I can tell you that the optical quality is, I'd say, about 95% the same. These lenses are 95 to 98% as nice looking as this lens. This has a few minor little features that may affect people. But anyway, the whole point of this lesson is that the law of diminishing returns. If I had to do it over again, I would just buy this lens for 500, 600 bucks or whatever it was, six, 700 bucks. I would just buy that lens because it's pretty much giving me everything I need without having to put out the big money on this lens. The law of diminishing returns is a real thing. As technologies mature, they kick in harder. So yeah, it's not just limited to camera lenses in technology. Development, phew, the law of diminishing returns has kicked in big time with the web stack. I would argue that for the vast majority of software development, what we do today in 2023 is pretty much identi identical to what we did five, six, seven, ten years ago even. The only, thing has, the only thing that has changed is a bit in the server models, but really not much more than that. Anyway, that's about it. A lot of diminishing returns. It's a real thing, and it affects many of all technologies. And uh, so if you're looking at learning to code, don't worry so much about what language you learn, what frameworks you learn. They're all very similar these days.